Folks, I love the 10 millimeter. I drug my feet for years thinking it was a glorified, expensive alternative to the 45 ACP. I could not have been more wrong. Now, I have done many reviews using the 10 millimeter from my XDM pistol to my CMMG Banshee, which is now an SBR. So, yes, I have a stock on it. Now, I took both of these hog hunting down in Oklahoma. And what can you say? The 10 millimeter is for real. You will want to check out some of those reviews and hunts links below and also sometimes here on the screen. Now, this is the sidearm I would take into bear country. And I even ran this by my older brother, Cap, who was actually a guide in Alaska for some time and guided for a lot of bear hunts. And he agreed with me on the 10 millimeter. Enough talking. This is an ammo review and a 10 millimeter is not cheap. Or is it? Check out AAC's 10 millimeter and see what you think. Let's take a look at the data from the chronograph and both from a pistol and a carbine. Check for accuracy. And lastly, we will see how far we can go up that hill. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where you only get product reviews, no pulpit, no podium, and definitely no politics. I only give you my honest review, and as I always say, it is what it is. Okay, let's just get to it. Let's check out the data on the chronograph from the pistol and the carbine. Nice. Now do you see why I would take this into bear country is my sidearm. Actually, I would prefer this, but it's not exactly small in a sidearm. Let's just see what we can get for accuracy. I am going to use the carbine for that. That will maximize and show us what it's capable of. And then we're going to have a little fun on the steel going up the hill. Now, real quick here on this CMMG, I'm doing some other reviews. Um, I've got Meprolite's MMX3, that's their 3X Micro. It's new. This thing is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got a totally separate review on that. And then also uh, my A3 Tactical, and I've already done the review on that, but I just want to call them out. I absolutely love this. This is hands down my favorite vertical grip. But remember, guys, you can't put this on a pistol. It's either got to be a rifle or, in this case, an SBR. Okay, let me just show you the sight picture here, what we're getting. And that's not showing um, the clarity that I'm seeing. Let me turn up the dot here. All right, there you can see the dot and the target a little bit better. I'm going to show you at 100 where we actually have kind of the sun behind us and will, I think, increase that clarity. We're shooting into a, a pretty shadowed, dark area. Okay, we're going to start off here at 50 yards. I'm going to start with the full metal jacket. Um. Hey, well, <laughs> that's actually better than, than I was thinking. I, I didn't look through the binoculars. I just looked through the... <laughs> yeah, hey. That works uh, for range ammo, full metal jacket. That's uh, that's really solid. You get rid of that. That's a solid group, guys. All right, let's try the hollow point. That's not 
bad. 10 shot. What do we got? Maybe about three inches there. So when we compare them both, yeah, they're, they're, they're comparable. We definitely shrink here. Now I've got the factory trigger, which is probably a seven pound pull. And that does make a, dip, a big difference. I'm, I'm pretty sure if we put a custom trigger in that, we could shrink those way down. But hey, for what it is, that is fantastic, I think. Um, let's have some fun and bang on some steel. Hey, real quick, just so we're completely and totally transparent, AAC did provide the ammo for me. In fact, AAC sponsors me. And I know some people, they get on the comments, they said, yeah, man, that's it, I'm gone. Okay, think about it, folks. The chronograph, <laughs> it is what it is, okay? Um, I, d I didn't fix the numbers. And then when it comes to accuracy, same thing. It is what it is. I shot what I shot. Um, if you think that I went down and poked holes or something or did something different, then I guess I'm not the channel for you. But anyway, total transparency. Now, a lot of times I'll start banging at 25 or even go back to the CQB range. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's just kind of a waste of ammo with this. You know, what I want to do is show you what we can do with this ammo at some distance. So let's just start with 100, which I think is probably going to be pretty easy. I think I hit most of those. We'll have to take a look. Better just do another five rounds to make sure. All right, we'll have to see how far it's dropping, but uh, I'll just take you with me here and see if we can find the elevation. Give it a go at 200. I think we lost the breeze, so I'm gonna go center. Real quick, folks, would you like to find guns and ammo at crazy, stupid prices? I kid you not. I find the best deals out there. Just go to my webpage, sign up for the emails. It costs you nothing, nothing. And you can unsubscribe at any time. Basically, what I do is I compile all the crazy, stupid deals that I come across every day. And when I get enough, I send out an email blast. People love it. Read the reviews. Now, I also have on my X page the same thing, same costs you nothing. All you got to do is go there and look. And basically, as I find the deals, I post them there real time, especially the ones that are time sensitive that I think are going to go out of stock before I can get an email out. Anyway, you're going to want to take a look at those. Back to the review. Well, that is easy. <laughs> yeah. listen to that ping at 200 yards that's still hitting with some energy okay guys we're going to reach halfway up that hill at three i'm going to start with maybe going about two two feet over target of course the wind picks up right as we're getting ready <laughs> All right, let's see if I can repeat that. So I am probably about eight feet over the top of that IDPA because we've got just a slight breeze and that's a slow bullet. I moved it just a little bit to the left. Let's try another five. Now I rushed it. You know, let's try five of the XTP.
Cha! It's going five for five. We got four for four at 300 yards with 10 millimeter. There you go, guys. Like I said before, it is what it is. Hey, real quick, let's see what we can do at 200 yards with the pistol. There we got it. Nice. Ah, I hate it when you miss the last one. We're going to give it a go at 400. <laughs> 400 yards. <laughs> that was two! Okay, real quick, guys, you gotta see the holdover for 400 yards. That was the holdover to get those two shots. So I really like this micro magnifier. It is crystal clear. There you have it, folks. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. I hope. You know, it answered all your questions on AAC's 10 millimeter. Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe, guys. That helps more than anything. Make sure and hit subscribe. Anyway, every time we're on the range, everybody's watching. That makes you willing or unwilling an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So do us all a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.